Hey, this is Mark from The Wave Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare your Pro Tools session files for transferring. I'll show you two ways. This first way is for when you want to include everything in your session, including alternate playlists. So here I've located my session in Finder. It's called Devon Band Mix. And within it are all the audio files. Make sure all your audio files are in there and not somewhere else on your computer or on your hard drive. And then it also has all the Pro Tools session files and everything it needs here. One thing to note is that you want to make sure that all your MIDI tracks have been converted to audio tracks. Depending on who you're sending to, they might not have the same sampler or instrument that you have. So the best way to do it is to print your MIDI track. And you can find out how to do that in another one of our tutorials called Printing MIDI Tracks. I'll post the link below. So once you know that your session is all ready, I'm going to collapse this folder again. I'm going to right click on it, scroll down to Compress Devon Band Mix. As you can see, it's creating one single file, .zip. Devon Bandmix .zip will contain all of the elements of that folder, but it will be in a more consolidated form that's easier to transfer. Now that you have this .zip file, this is the file that you'd send to the Wave Shop. Let me show you one more method. Here I have that same Pro Tools session opened up. Now let's say I want to transfer this session without including all of the alternate playlists. As you can see here, if I click on this down arrow, on this kick track, there are four playlists, and that can quadruple the size of your session file if you don't need those. So here's the way to transfer the session without including those playlists. The first thing to make sure is that all of your main playlists are finalized. Whoever you're sending this to won't have the option to dig through the alternate playlists in case your main playlist is bad or incorrect. So now that I've made sure that these are correct, I'm going to go up here to File, Save copy in. I'm going to keep it in the latest session format I'm using Pro Tools 10 here. Now if I go down to items to copy, I'm going to check the box that says audio files. And then here's the important one, main playlists only. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to save this as copy of Devon Band Mix Transfer. Now it's saving all of the audio files for the main playlists here. So when I open it up on the other end, it'll be a nice clean session without all of the alternate playlists hidden behind it. So now that we've saved a copy of the session, let's find it real quick. Here I have copy of Devon Band Mix Transfer. In it we'll see the Pro Tools session file and all of the audio files. I'm going to collapse it again, right click on it, go down to Compress, Copy of Devon Band Mix Transfer. And there's that .zip file again. That is the file that you'd send to us. If you have any other questions, you can email us, waveshopaudio at gmail.com. Also, be sure to visit our site, waveshopaudio.com. And don't forget to redeem your free mix. Thanks for watching.